You Do It Make a Cow, a 1984 mail art project by Joey Patricht, was exhibited in 1985 at the Kala Institute, Berkeley CA and a catalogue went out to participants. In some of the literature for this project, Joey Patricht wrote that the inspiration of the famous Cavallini cow diagram where Cavallini's name is listed with famous artists' names was only part of it, that Ricola's version with all male artists' names, which Ricola had made into a rubber stamp, was the main thing, and that male art being a democratic form of art, everybody should have a cow. See the worksheet of eight cow outlines that Joey, or Tom, made because the eight contour drawings all differ slightly, though the size is consistent. A list of alphabetical words that title each cow follows. Inflammatory. Influence. Information. Infringement. Ingrained. Ingratiate. Inhibition. Inimitable. From this list, note the word information. The Italian word, informaccioni, is printed sideways on the right of the original Maillard cow. The 1982 Maillard cow graphic by Guglielmo Achil Cavallini, born September 11, 1914, died November 20, 1990. An infamous Italian male artist, famous for self-historification, was based on an approximately 1978 bull graphic by Carlo Battista. The word informaccioni was one of many monikers which Battista had invented for himself. According to a letter by Vittore Baroni to Chuck Welch, dated February 1986, Batista's original graphic can be identified by deliberately misspelled famous painters' names, and was created to include Cavallini's name among the well-known artists of the time. Cavallini also sent out a version of his Maillard cow without Batista's moniker, Informachone, and with his stamped postage cancellation that mentions his self-historification. Another male artist, Marlon Ricola, created a rubber stamp using the same bull graphic but left out Cavallini and Informaccione and substituted the names of artists in his own mail art network. There have been an exponential number of versions ever since, with various names and different graphic versions, and using different kinds of animals. In addition, Illustrations of human anatomy, vegetation, or machines, which have arrows pointing to identify the different sections, can be altered to replace definitions with names of male artists. In this slideshow are many iterations of the male art cow which don't involve listing male art's names, and you will see examples in the images compiled here. Many are sourced from a Facebook group called The Mail Art Cow, which is monitored by Joey Patricht and Rude Jansen. Joey Patricht's robotic cow is often found on the mail art he sends out, and there are many artists from the Eternal Mail Art Network who post their own versions of cow or bull graphics at that Facebook group, including me. Ask a cow is a phrase I misheard that was part of a recorded telephone message which played while I was on hold, waiting to make a doctor appointment. The actual phrase was ask us how. I have called back to listen again to the message and it still sounds like ask a cow. So the intersection between life and art is serendipitous, sometimes. Editor Mark Young published my Ask a Cow series of ten short poems written in syncane form in his quarterly journal, Odoliths. Thanks to Jim Andrews, my poem, Buffoon Quartet, was animated using his Aleph Null 3.0 software. The poem includes the phrase Ask a Cow and Jim narrates it in his 2017 YouTube video.
Myaska cow male art images tend to anthropomorphize cows because the cow is expected to answer a question, hence the cow would be living, and not identified as dead meat sectioned for sale, which is the case in a male art cow diagram. I've also used a Muism text rubber stamp to suggest a new art or spiritual movement. I've created a few different Ask a Cow Arty stamp sheets, one from Keith Bates Ray Johnson influenced Ox graphic, he created it for the 2021 Chinese Year of the Ox, and sent it out with the Ray Johnson font he created so people could personalize it with their names. I shortened the horns and inserted my Ask a Cow text. This slideshow has a few examples of my cow-related art and also many cow items other artists have mailed or given to me. Bibiana Padilla Maltos said she might be mailing me a cow-related item soon. At a gallery our Fluxus group performed at during the 2019 Toronto Flux Fest. I gave Bibiana's daughter and son a cow puzzle to help keep them occupied. Later, after a performance in a movie theater venue, Tristan asked for the toy plastic cow I used for the audience to pass around during John M. Bennett's Dreamed Interpretation event. I wonder if Tristan still has it. Three miniature items represent 2017 Fluxus performance memorabilia. Number 1 a tiny metal grater for Reed Woods Make America Great Again. Number 2, a little plastic loaf of bread for Bibiana Padilla Malto's memory game. And number 3, the toy cow, I found all three for sale in Antiques Mercantile Building at the 2017 Ohio State Fair. This is a little ATC I made using a graphic from June, June Wear Mirror in 2016. Um, the stuffed cow head in this was given to me by Diane Keyes when she and her family were visiting uh, Matthew Stolt in Madison and we were there. Um, this is from Kathy Barnett. It's a cow bee, queen cow bee. This is from Kathy Barnett, as was the previous piece was also by Kathy Barnett. These two pieces have moving parts on them, sent to me by Mary Campbell. Um, it's a broken leg from a ceramic cow. This is from Mary Campbell. Also, the puzz wooden puzzle piece, um, a Walt Disney cartoon cow. This moo clip is actually John saying moo said at a slower speed. So that's my husband, John, the poet. Moo. This is from Jonathan Stang Room. It's like building with Legos. Build a cow. <laughs> Strangulances, and he passed this on to me. Anonymous. Diane Hale made this collaged cow in a postage stamp. I know she sent some to other people as well, but it takes a lot of dexterity. This is also uh, an actual postage stamp nail art from the Netherlands, and I added Ask a Cow on it. It's an ATC type. Thing. This, is a this is a stamp from Mexico, 
and I just wanted to show it because it has the diagrammed sections of a cow for meat. This is a box from Bibiana Padilla Molto sent to me just a couple few weeks ago. Um, cow socks and a china cow from her mother came a china cow. I have none other like it. Bibian Sabela Banya from Spain sent me this painted cow and I made it into an artist stamp. This was made by Jessica Manick of Pittsburgh. These are actual stickers that she made. Cow opinion polls, Iowa Post. The next stamp is also by Ann Dangler. A small a set of miniature cows sent to me by Jack Laddaman, Cascadia Art Post. He sent the two postcards in the back. The little cows in the foreground are really very tiny, and you'll see a few other photos of me posing them in different places. This Christmas gift from Jane Barkett Lyons. It's the, it comes with some other clothes as well for the Jane Barkett Lions. Thank you. And this is from Judy Coffee. A spread of everything that was included in an envelope from Judy Kaufman. Thank you. Judy, nice. One of the envelopes that she had made from this pop art cow wrapping paper. Um, it's, it, you're supposed to be able to fold it and put it. I dressed the cow up in this like a kimono. Um, this is a rubber stamp. The red part is Adam Rusopoulos sent me the r rubber stamp, which I... Uh, on the right side, it says Moo. Uh, I changed the Moo in Photoshop. This is tells the story about how I came across the, the phrase Ask a Cow um, back in 2016. And then I took a photo of some plant matter that I saw on the street and messed with it digitally to make it look like a cow. I made this stamp for uh, 2016. Is Ask a Cow a Moon poem from 2016? And I also did a Spanish version of it. Pregunta una vaca is Ask a Cow in Spanish. So this was 2019 when I made from Philistine, he or she from Austin, Texas, made this cow does not have the answers which you seek. Thank you, Philistine. And this is Jane B. Knight, also known as Ma Dog. She came to Flex Fest Chicago dressed up in a cow outfit. And this is um, a meme that she posted, downloaded from Facebook. Oh, this is from Mike Dickow. Asked a three-legged flying cow from Kathy Barnett. 
3D. Easy to send in an envelope in the mail. And this is for Margaret, Margaret Chase um, from Satin Island. A really sweet little soft round cowlet from Margaret Chase. This is from uh, something I made with a photo I took of Ficus strangulensis standing out in a field um, in Ohio. The cow in the foreground is a, a punk mirrored cow that I found at a thrift shop. And this is a collaboration with Chris Reynolds. The white cow in the center is by Chris Reynolds. And a few other details as well. I s mailed this to him through the mail, and he mailed it back. Chris lives in Dayton, Ohio. This is kind of large. He has it now. It's a little nativity scene. This has a tiny cow in the center that I used for a performance. Other placards were also used in different performances, but it was all done in Mexico City when John and I went down there um, at the invitation of Cesar Espinosa and Sally Zuniga. This is just a little digital art piece I did um, for Cat Army versus Cow Army. Meow. This was installed during FlexFest Chicago uh, behind a big building. Schwabi had a studio in this big building uh, where we did performances in her studio. And, and in the back, you could, there was this. I installed these peony petals. And this is installed during wintertime in my own backyard with. Uh, stuff around the with leaves from the backyard. This was the middle. It says, Ask a cow if you can't read it. It says, oh, Apron with udders, and the glove fingers are the cow udders. This is an installation of Jack Lanham's tiny cow, tiny cow on Ben's head. He's got a butch haircut. So close up. This is kind of an advertisement for athletic shoes. I noticed the question mark spot on the cow. This is a nice little pair of images painted and collaged and mailed to me by Alicia Starr. This is probably from 2020, early 2020. This sweet little collage is something Alicia Starr sent me just a couple weeks ago. It's very nice. Happy cow. This is from Theo Nelson in Canada and it's fun. And finally, um, this is a poster. I believe it was designed by Keith Buckholtz, who was organizing FlexFest in Chicago for a long time. Um, and as you can see, it's got the mail art cow as a background design. That's about it. If you have any questions, I'm ready.